Hey guys, it's Joe at PocketNow.com. Remember a while back I wrote an article about a developer over at XDADevelopers.com that had postulated an idea about turning off one particular color set in the LCD panels that we use in our, our Android phones? Well, back then it was just a cool idea and I gave you some screenshots. Today I want to show you not only has how that's been implemented, but also a widget that lets you do it really quickly. And I'll talk about some things that are cool and some things that are eh, not so cool about this method and how to go about doing it. Let's go take a look. Okay, so what I've done here is this is my Nexus One. It is running Cyanogen Mod uh, version 6.0 RC2, which is a Froyo build, but it's got these extra bits in it. So I've launched the uh, the settings here. Actually, let me go back one step. I've launched the phone settings. And then all the way down to the bottom is this Cyanogen mod setting. So I'm going to go in there, and that's where you're no you'll notice in the user interface section that we have render effect. Now in render effect right now we have none. It's using the default rendering mode. Let's change that to red, and immediately you can see that it's changed the entire interface over to this monochrome red. And it's still very usable. You know, I can come in here, I can still identify what all of my apps are, looking at my icons, I can still read my email. It's still very, very usable. It's just a monochrome red. Now, this comes in really, really handy. In fact, let me see if I can uh, adjust the camera here a little bit to let you see a little bit closer. I don't know how that's going to come across, but looking at it on screen, it looks just like the normal screen, just red. And it's kind of cool. If you're at all used to doing anything outside at night, or even inside at night, you know that after your eyes have been accustomed to the dark, if you turn on your phone, even for an instant, that white light just blinds you. It gives you what's called night blindness. So to preserve your night vision, you can use red. Now red is a lot kinder on the eyes, and you can turn on your phone, look at it, do whatever you need to, and then Turn it off and you still have good night vision. So that's really cool. Let's go back into the settings here. So we'll go back home, go back into settings, back down to cyanogen mod settings, user interface, and render effect. Let's go to terminal. Now this one is just like the old fashioned uh, command prompt terminals. Uh, you'll still see those around in terminal apps and whatnot where it's green text on a black background. Not all that useful just for around the uh, the town for, for doing anything. It's not as useful like the red is for preserving your uh, your night vision. But let me show you a couple others and then I'll tell you why these are really kind of cool. Here's a uh, kind of a dark blue and it looks a lot lighter on the camera screen than it does down here. This is almost a purple. Let's go in and look at another one. Uh, we'll look at amber. Amber's kind of got a yellow hue to it. It's a lot more mustardy on my phone than what I'm seeing on the camera. Salmon, kind of a, a dark, dull grayish pink. And then fuchsia. Now, why might these be important? Well, right now it's just kind of cool. But if you are someone who has color blindness, where you cannot see a particular color or colors like a, a vast majority of, uh, well not a majority, but a, a very good number of males. Uh, a lot of them have color blindness. Now I'm lucky I don't have color blindness, but here's one aspect where I think this could really come into play. Let me go ahead and switch this back to no render effect. And then I wanna go back over here out of cyanogen mod settings to just the regular settings. So here we are, we're looking at this, and we have something down here called accessibility. Now in accessibility, we've got sound back, talk back, kick back, and yada yada yada. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we can turn on that will help us if we have whatever disabilities to be able to use these phones. Now, one thing that this doesn't do is anything regarding color blindness. You just kind of have to live with the phone. Now using some of these render effects you might as a colorblind male or the few colorblind females that are out there you might be able to see the phone 
better using one of these render effects. Now another thing that the render effects do, because you're using less pixels, you're actually not using the green, uh, which are two subpixels. Uh, there are two green subpixels to every pixel, and one blue subpixel to every pixel. You're only using the red subpixel. You're saving all that power. So effect effectively, you're turning off all of your green and your blue, and only using the red, which is the most color or most power efficient color on the phone, to display what you want to look at. So you're saving an awful lot of energy by not displaying the full color set. So I mean that's one use, and whether or not you know you can do that, whether or not you can live with having it all in red, for example, is really up to you. But it's neat that you can do it. But a colorblind individual might get a better user experience by going in and choosing one of these render effects. So I'd really like to see Google incorporate this or something like it into the accessibility options that's built into the phone specifically to help colorblind individuals. So I would like to know, if you're colorblind, which one of those, and I know this is just a phone shot through a camera you're looking at on a monitor, so there's a lot of variables involved, but which one of these looked best to you? Or did any of them look good? The the red, the green, the blue, the amber, the salmon, or the fuchsia? In fact, if you've got Cyanogen Mod 6 RC2 on your phone and can try this out, I would like to know which one works best for you. And then I'd also like to know what type of colorblindness you have. So, uh, and I'm sorry, I don't know an awful lot about colorblindness to identify them, but if you are a red-green colorblind person, which one of these works best for you or none of the above? Uh, if you've got a different type of color blindness, let us know what that is and let us know what render effect worked best for you or if none of them did. Um, and if there are any uh, engineers out there from Google watching, I'd also be interested to hear from you to see if this is something that uh, you might be interested in taking up the flagpole and seeing if some of the executives at Google would like to incorporate this into the stock Android build. So kind of interesting, kind of neat, and something that you just really need to see on your phone to get an idea of. I, I hope I've shown you here kind of a, a rough idea. Uh, please, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave those below. If you like the video, if you like the concept of uh, different color schemes for color blindness, uh, using the LCD itself, go ahead and give this uh, video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our video channel in case you have not done so already, and yes, I know that means you. Yeah, yeah you right there. Just click the subscribe button. Okay, good deal. Thanks. All right, now everybody else, head on over to pocketnow.com. Check out all of the latest articles that we have running. So showing off the render effects capabilities of the phone with some possible uses, practical uses for them. I'm Joe for pocketnow.com.